After the virtual consultation, the next step is to get you into the clinic. We'll take some final records, so some x-rays, and we'll have a final look at how your mouth is, any final questions um, that you may have thought of um, before we can then get your teeth, your mouth scanned. So scanning, we've got a scanner that allows us to get a 3D image, a 3D visual um, of your teeth and how they come together. And we're able to then get you a final result um, that we can show you so you can see whether you would be happy with that final result, the final position for your straighter teeth. If you're completely happy with that, it means we can start with the Invisalign treatment. So it takes about a week to two weeks to actually get your braces um, printed, made, and brought into the practice. Um, so that is the next step after the virtual consultation. There are some things um, that you need to consider when um, choosing Invisalign, and one of those is the fact that you do need to take them out um, before eating any food. Um, you don't want to deform the plastic, you don't want to damage the Invisalign brace, um, so it's really important that you take them out um, before eating. Um, and then after that, after you've finished eating, making sure that you're flossing, brushing your teeth before placing them back in. But remember, you need to be wearing the Invisalign brace for a minimum of 22 hours a day. So in wearing and living with your aligners, your Invisalign aligners, um, you're able to have drinks um, with your aligners in, but keep it to um, drinks like water or cold drinks um, in general, because warm or hot drinks have the potential to deform the, the brace, change the brace, and this can start to impact on your Invisalign journey and how and the results that we get with your Invisalign um, braces. So make sure that if you're having a hot drink like a coffee or a tea, that you take out the aligners, have the hot drink, floss and brush your teeth, and then put the aligners back in. After you have finished um, using the braces and your teeth are straight, you're happy with the position of your teeth, it's now important that we maintain the position of your teeth and we keep them in that same position. And this is where retainers uh, come in. The retainers, um, they can be in two forms. You can have a retainer which looks like your Invisalign aligner and it simply keeps your teeth in that same position. Now you'd be wearing the retainer every night um, and over time, it might be that we taper down um, the use of your retainers to a few nights a week. You can choose to have what we call a fixed retainer. And this is um, a piece of wire that goes behind your teeth and it keeps your teeth in position. The gold standard really is to have the fixed retainer, the, the metal wire behind your teeth, as well as the removable retainer, um, the plastic retainer that keeps your teeth in position overnight. And um, that's the gold standard to have both. But what I say to my patients is you need a retainer for as long as you want to keep your teeth straight and in the same position. In terms of maintaining and looking after your Invisalign braces, your Invisalign aligners, um, it's important that you're rinsing them um, to keep them clean. Um, using a toothbrush um, is not recommended because that's too abrasive and that's going to introduce scratches into the aligner. Um, so simply rinsing them um, is sufficient. Remember, you'll be wearing each of them for about seven days. Um, so rinsing tends to be sufficient. But I also provide um, some cleaning crystals that you can use to freshen up your Invisalign aligners. Um, so that will keep them um, clean. So in terms of changing your aligners, um, typically it tends to be every seven days you change your aligner. Now in certain circumstances, um, your dentist may ask you to wear 
a certain aligner for longer, maybe two weeks. Um, and this depends on each case. Uh, but on average, typically it tends to be every seven days um, you change your aligners. I wouldn't recommend you doing it in a shorter um, time frame unless your dentist was to recommend it. But I wouldn't recommend uh, patients changing the time frame or time period in which they change their aligners and making it any shorter uh, because again that can affect the end result that you get. In order um, to make sure that um, the, 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 the soreness that's initially experienced in order to make sure that that's minimized um, the important thing is to make sure that you're wearing your braces um, pretty much all the time and this is because you then get used to having them in um, at an accelerated rate. What you can also do, um, a top tip, is the night before you change your Invisalign brace um, is to change it before you go to bed. So if you were gonna have your Invisalign brace changed on a Wednesday, what you could do is you could change your Invisalign brace on the Tuesday night so you sleep in with the new Invisalign brace. And by the time you wake up on the Wednesday morning, um, you would have started to get used to the new brace. So that can help to minimize on the ache. So in terms of removing the aligners, um, I'll show you how to do that in surgery and I'll make sure that you leave uh, being able to take out your Invisalign aligners. And um, it tends to be that you, you remove them by starting at the back um, and lifting them from the back and then working your way forwards. But this is something that I'll be able to show you um, in, in practice. Sometimes the Invisalign brace, the plastic can dig in um, at certain uh, places, uh, at certain edges, they can be sharp and dig into the gum. Now we have to remember that Invisalign braces are manufactured and whenever you manufacture something, there's always the small risk um, that there are some um, edges which can be left a little bit sharp. So um, something I advise my patients is to, to be able to file down the sharp edges. And um, that's something that I tell my patients to do. Um, but obviously you wanna make sure that your dentist is aware um, of the areas that are sharp and then they will be able to tailor the advice to you. Um, but that's something that I discuss with my patients where if they're finding it sharp, um, we can file down certain areas to make it more comfortable and to wear. So in some cases, um, where there's not quite enough space for your teeth to fit within your mouth, um, traditionally, we would remove teeth and that would free up space um, for your teeth to now fit nicely within your mouth. Now we've got the option um, nowadays of being able to just shave um, a little bit uh, from the sides of your teeth to now accommodate all your teeth um, in a nice way within your mouth. Um, we call this IPR or interproximal reduction and it tends to be shaving off 0.2 to 0.5 millimeters um, from the side of a tooth. So it's something that you wouldn't be even able to, to notice that much, less than a millimeter um, that will be getting shaved off the sides um, of your teeth. This differs for different patients. And in some cases, um, this isn't even needed. So that's something to discuss um, with your dentist when you're considering having Invisalign treatment. What is refinement? So at the end, um, of your set of braces, your aligners, we may find that there are certain teeth which are still not in the position that we would want them to be in. So with refinement, um, it's all about getting more Invisalign aligners to be able um, to, to finish the job on those teeth which are not quite in the position we want them to be in. So what it means for you is we get more aligners that you will wear to finish the job of straightening teeth. At the end um, of your Invisalign treatment, when we're ready to um, retain your teeth in position, we can offer you um, the Invisalign made retainers. So these are called Vivera retainers. That's the brand name um, retainer for Invisalign. 
Now, the Vivera retainers come in three sets. So you'd get three sets for your top teeth and three sets for your bottom teeth. And they're very durable. Um, they fit very snugly, they fit very well, and they last you a long time. So those are my recommended choice of um, retainers, the Vivera retainers. Um, but you may also um, have the option of having um, retainers which are made by local labs um, which are not Invisalign branded retainers. Um, now with this, it's all dependent on the standard and quality of the labs that your dentist works with. Um, but I tend to um, prefer using the Invisalign made retainers called Vivera retainers.